There is a house in Brindleton Bay that simply does not want to be sold to anybody. Maybe it's because of that weird roof that nobody seems to like. Maybe it's because of its isolated position on top of the highway. Or maybe it's the broken balcony fence, a grim symbol of the decay of the entire property. But man, it does come as an unmissable deal for Brian's family. His moms have been looking for a home to invest some savings in for a very long time, and the three bathrooms, three bedrooms sold house looks like the right place to do it. Yes, the plumbing is to be redone entirely, and the floor, stairs, and windows are the only things they get to save from the original structure. But Simlian by Simlian, the young family hope that they will make it and transform the rotten mansion in a warm place little Delilah and Brian can call home forever. Eva and Kimberly try saving every last cent of their paychecks and buy all the essentials to make the house functioning and cozy. But the big size of the property comes with the difficulty to fully furnish it in such a short time, especially for Sims who are working on a budget. The kids are adapting fine with the help of the proximity to the local beach and the great outdoor space of the house. Brian is even making friends in the neighborhood and Delilah has finally stopped eating crayons as she now prefers to use them to color. Their new life is developing under the vigilant, vigilant eye of the old house. Puma? In the Puka! At the forest! Tani Barza! Uh-huh! Oh, oh, that no. Brian, however, is visibly interested in the past of their new home. How old is it and what happened? free to get so abandoned. Kimberly decides to make a deal with him and promises that if he keeps his grades up for school, she will show him something that was found in a house before they emptied it to move in. This extra reward boosts Brian's confidence with homework, school projects, and his discipline raises his responsibility trait. A promise is a promise and Kimberly is willing to keep hers and show Brian the last item found in the house. An old black and white photo framed in a golden structure. Kimberly tells Brian about the sim who allegedly is on the picture, Katrina de Foof. According to some old documents, Katrina used to own the house many moons ago and this picture remained here. The moms decided to keep it as a treasure to keep Katrina's legacy alive. The keepsake, however, doesn't really impress Brian, who goes back to his toys and a late afternoon nap time.
Once asleep, Brian's mind starts wandering through all of his recent and past memories, but all of a sudden, a very creepy image comes up. It's Katrina's picture, but something's very terribly wrong with it. Suna! <laughs> oh no! Brian wakes up and runs to Eva, babbling about a picture and a ghost. Eva reads it as a classic case of monster under the bed and she reassures Brian that everything's okay and he will not be bothered anymore. But Brian is too deep in the paranoia to buy into his mom's calm words. His obsession with the picture of Katrina is so big, he starts claiming that Katrina is living in the empty corner of the house living room. He can see her! When he speaks about the spooky visions to his friend Carol, she does nothing to improve the situation and confirms the worst. Katrina de Fouf died in that house. Legend has it, she used to be a heavy reader who used the house as her winter holidays cottage. In here, she had a fireplace exactly where the empty corner of the house now is. Apparently, the fireplace overheated the room and she suffocated in there. All of the details shared by Carol leave Brian uncomfortable and in need for a long walk to the beach to clear his mind. Once he heads back, however, a surprise is waiting for him. Please, Akimpa. Smart, Samzo, Oh. <laughs> what clearly is Katrina's ghost from the picture is sitting with Brian's mothers at the dining table and, and she's obviously pissing them off. Brian first panics and runs to his room to hide from the ghostly figure. But then, he realizes he wants to give Katrina the chance to explain herself. Katrina tells him that she is the former owner of this house. A spell was cast on her soul that bonds her to the picture she left in the house. Until the picture exists, she won't be able to leave the house she's trapped in. Many previous tenants caught her and tortured her to get information on past treasures and money of the house, until Brian, Delilah, Eve and Kimberly moved in. They are the only ones who stored her picture in an honorable way. I didn't mean to haunt you, she admits to Brian. I was just scared you would leave. She tells him she tried appearing in front of his moms as well several times, but they always dismissed her as somebody who was trying to sell them makeup. They never believed she was a real ghost. And with that, the two exchanged a friendship bonded 
to the eternity. And Brian secretly stole the picture and destroyed it, freeing Katrina to her deserved rest. The Drama House wishes you a very, very spooky and happy Halloween. Da-da!